Hey guys, so it looks like I will be having a debate with in reality at 3 p.m. Central Time today. So look out for that if interested. But for the time being, I wanted to very quickly touch upon this whole pseudoscience that vegans push about chimpanzee teeth and how they're exactly like our teeth which is why we should eat the chimpanzee seed namely uh, an herbivorous diet some of the more batty vegans go as far as to say a fruitarian diet now the reason why this analysis is pseudoscientific is because these vegans never take into account the very important fact that we have been using tools to heavily process all of our food, plants and meat, as well as the fact that we have been cooking our food, which makes it softer, for hundreds of thousands of years. And the fact that we're the only species on this planet that does that. So, why would you expect our teeth to look anything like any other species? Pseudoscience. But they say that our teeth look like chimp teeth. On the far right, you see our teeth. On the far left, you see chimp teeth. Really? Those are identical? Now, I know the number of teeth is the same, but you're telling me that they're identical. Well, they're not. Chimp teeth are bigger. What they also are is tougher, and harder, because chimps have to chew a lot of tough stuff. And we haven't done that in hundreds of thousands of years. Which is why our teeth don't look like their teeth. Now, because this tooth debate seems to prove that, well, we're not carnivores, right? We don't need to eat, we shouldn't be eating animal products. I have a question. What kind of teeth are required for eating eggs and drinking milk? None whatsoever, so you could look at any animal's teeth and, well, it won't tell you, if that's all that you're looking at, it won't tell you whether they should or shouldn't drink milk, right? If that's all you're looking at, teeth are your only marker, then maybe they should be. Now what about fruit? Because some of the battier vegans want to say that we're frugivores. What kind of teeth are required to eat fruit? You don't need any teeth. You could be a 90 year old toothless man and you're gonna eat fruit just fine. So is there such a thing as frugivore teeth out there? Well, scientifically it doesn't make any sense. Unless you're eating very hard, very unripe fruit, which will give you a tummy ache and diarrhea, which is something that no vegan does. So, what kind of teeth do you need to eat fruit? You don't. Are you starting to see how pseudoscientific this debate is? They're saying that what you see on the far left is the same as what you see on the far right. Looks very different to me. But, if you think it is, and we should eat what chimpanzees eat, chimpanzees eat about 4% of their diet in insects, right? Not herbivorous. They eat honey, not herbivorous. And they eat about up to 8% of their food as meat and eggs. 
They'd probably eat more, but it's very difficult to obtain. So, if you think our teeth are like chimp teeth, they're perfectly well adapted to eating also meat. And if you have any problems understanding that, cook up a steak, put a little piece in your mouth, chew it up, see how it goes. Anyway, the whole debate about teeth being the determining factor as to who we are, carnivores, omnivores, herbivores, is completely pseudoscientific and just downright silly. Anyway guys, look forward to that debate later on today. Thank you for listening.